Raphael was a really natural choice for coming, but every single one of them is here with us in spirit. And so they're the ones that did the work that got us here. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the White House for the 2016 National Arts and Humanities Youth Program Awards. <laughs> From the day we started, all of us, we've made it a priority to open up this house to as many young people from as many backgrounds as possible because we wanted them to understand that this is their house too. For the past eight years, 3,000 programs have applied for just these awards. And we've honored more than 100 programs from 33 states, DC, and nine countries. Your, through your programs, students have they become poets and dancers. Uh, they become filmmakers and photographers. And more importantly, they become leaders in their schools and in their communities. We have a young man, Raphael Batanga, who is here all the way from Kodiak, Alaska. A few years ago, Raphael and his family came to the United States from the Philippines. And like so many young people who, who've immigrated to this country, uh, Raphael worked hard in school and quickly established himself as a leader and a role model. And through the uh, uh, Baranov Museum and Film uh, Intensive, he became both a filmmaker and a photographer. And he even started his own photography business to help support his family. These kids represent the very best of America. But we're a country that believes in our young people, all of them. <laughs> We believe that every single child has boundless promise, no matter who they are, where they come from, or how much money their parents have. We've got to remember that. We believe that each of these young people is a vital part of the great American story. Don't ever lose hope. Don't ever feel fear. You belong here. Remember that. Remember that part of this day and keep working hard because it's gonna be so important now to be educated and focused because no one can ever take your education from you. You got that? Spread the word, you got it? I'm looking at all of you all. The first of the humanities programs in Kodiak, Alaska, the Baranoff Museum's Youth Summer Film and History Intensive presents summer study of a variety of historical topics through which students create an original documentary film. Taking place at both the Kodiak Public Library and the Baranoff Museum, it provides students with a plethora of research tools, mentors, and archives. Congratulations on your award. If anybody were to walk past these kids on the street, they would make assumptions about what they could do and who they could be. And we do that all the time to each other and to our kids. We put them in boxes and in baskets and we place lids on them and we don't let them out because of our issues. All of these young people have some kind of potential in them. And if we don't invest in them as a nation, regardless of where they come from or what color they are, if we don't invest in them, we lose.